Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It's Prophetess Abigail Munyai reaching out to you this beautiful Saturday morning. There is a word that God has placed upon my heart. There is an atmosphere of remembrance. There is something happening and I want to release it wherever you are. I just want you to catch on. I want you to tap in. I want us to run quickly to the book of Genesis chapter 40. You see, here we are reading about the life of Joseph. Now we all know the story of Joseph. Joseph, right? Joseph was a young man that had a dream at the age of 17. And in his dream, he saw his brother's sheaves bowing to his. He saw his father's sheaves bowing to him. And that meant that he was destined for greatness. Now, obviously, his brothers did not take this news very well. And they were so jealous of him. And they plotted to kill him. But later, they decided to sell him into slavery. <laughs> but little did they know that as they were selling him, him into slavery my goodness they were actually sending him to his Canaan they were sending him to his promise now the word of God tells us that upon arrival you know he received favor on that side and um, the word of God tells us that as he was serving as he was there in slavery the word of God tells us there was so so much favor upon his life now I want us to fast forward a little bit to hear where we are you know in chapter 14 where Joseph is now in prison because he refused to sleep with his master's wife now the word of God tells us that it came to pass after these things that the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt offended their lord the king of Egypt Pharaoh was angry with his two officers, the chief butler and the chief baker. So he puts them into custody in the house of the captain of the guard in the prison. And that is exactly the place where Joseph was confined. Now understand this. What is happening here is God is orchestrating something. God is up to something. You know, sometimes when you are in the prison of life, when you are in a dark place in your life, where you are in a place where you cannot see the way out, my goodness, it's not that God is not working. At that point in time, you may not see it. At that point in time, it may not make sense. At that point in time, you might not be able to grasp the concept of the work that God is doing. But while you are worrying and you can't sleep, God is working behind the scenes. He is putting together an exit plan just for you. <laughs> now, what was happening right now was an orchestration of God, a divine setup of circumstances that would later help or that would later lead to the exit of Joseph from this prison. Now, I want you to keep with me, keep with me, keep with me. Now, the word of God tells us, that once these two uh, were thrown into the prison, the very same prison that Joseph was in, never mind that Joseph had already attained favor. Listen to what happens. The butler and the baker in verse 5, who they were confined in this prison and they have a dream. Both of them, each man's dream in one night and each man's dream with its own interpretation. The Bible tells us in verse 6 that Joseph came into them in the morning. He looked at them and saw that they were sad. So he asked Pharaoh's officers who were with him in the custody of his law's house, saying, Why do you look so sad today? They said to him, We each have had a dream and there is no interpreter of it. I love Joseph's response. He says, Do not interpretations belong to God, my goodness. He says, Tell them to me, please. The Bible tells us that they narrated the dreams. And as you continue to read, you will find that Joseph interprets these dreams <laughs> my goodness, my goodness. I love what he says in verse 12 as he's interpreting the first dream. He says, this is the interpretation of it. The three branches are three days. Now within three days, Pharaoh will lift up your head and he will restore your place. And you will be put, you will put Pharaoh's cup in his hand according to the former manner when you were his butler. He is telling them, listen, you may have erred and your Lord, your master was angry with you. But nevertheless, there is a time coming where he will restore you. And the time is after three days. But I love this, what he does in verse 14. He says, but remember me <laughs> when it is well with you. Please show kindness to me. Make mention of me to Pharaoh and get me out of this house. He says, listen, because I know you are going to be restored. I know that you are going to be saved in three days. What I ask of you is this. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. 
now men and women of God daughters and sons of the most high king in our lives there were people that once upon a time we helped once upon a time we administered a service to now it may not have been exactly like Joseph's where we interpreted a dream but somewhere at some point in our life there is somebody we helped one way or the other now all that person needs to do <laughs> is to remember because once they remember my goodness my goodness my goodness ah 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 and this is the word that god has brought he is saying it is a time of remembrance it is a time of remembrance meaning that little thing that you did back then in school that little thing that you did back then a few years ago for a colleague that thing that you did a few ah ah, ah for a friend for whoever it is that you showed kindness they are about to remember you right now and they are remembrance of you is what will set you free their remembrance of you ah uh-uh. now understand this you know joseph was clear he said in 3 days you will be restored and when you are restored do me this favor please remember me and show kindness of me what must you do when you remember make mention of me ah uh-uh. ah ah you don't have to give me money you don't have to give me a position all you have to do is to mention me hey my goodness my goodness The Bible tells us that after three days, indeed, the dream was fulfilled, just as Joseph had said it would be. The Word of God tells us in chapter forty-one that only two years later, when the dream, the, the king himself had a dream and needed interpretation, that this butler remembered. Oh my goodness! I I have sinned. I have wronged. There is someone who helped me. Two years ago, when I was in prison, that person was also in prison, but they helped me. Now understand this: a lot of times when we are helping people, we are not helping them because we are in a good place. It doesn't mean that we are helping them because we are not going through our own trials or tribulations. Joseph was similarly in prison. He was similarly suffering. He was similarly feeling the pain. He was also in bondage. But the word of God tells us that that did not limit him from helping another. And he said when you are free, I'm not going to be free, but you're going to be free. And when you are free, I need you to remember me. And when you remember me, mention me. I want to speak right now a prophetic word over your life that that individual that you helped not be because you were doing well but because you were able to ignore ya ya you were able to set aside your own issues you were able to set aside your own limitations the word of god says there is remembrance that is taking place right now i don't know who it is that you helped i don't know who it is that you prayed for i don't know who it is that you gave your last money to i don't know who it is that you stood in the gap for but god is remembering you today and there is a mentioning ay 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a mentioning. There is a mentioning. There is a mentioning. Somebody is remembering you today, and they are mentioning you in the presence of kings. They are mentioning you in the presence of opportunities. They are mentioning you right now in a place that once your name is spoken, once your name is mentioned, listen, listen, listen. A door will be opened that cannot be shut. A door will be opened that allow that will allow you to access your promise. That will allow you. to walk in your destiny in the fullness of the promise of God now listen 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 when this butler mentioned the name of Joseph the king said let him be brought here and when he was brought my goodness that was the first time he was taken out of prison since he was ah listen 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 somebody somewhere is remembering you somebody somewhere is mentioning your name right now in the mighty name of Jesus raboshia kateyende rebeshiaka there is a mentioning There is a mentioning there is a remembrance your name what you did for them is no longer giving them peace they are realizing their wrong that hey if it had not been for Joseph if it had not been for Abigail if it had not been for Grace if it had not been for I I I listen there is a remembrance and that remembrance is bringing a burning it's bringing a push to mention your name to kings i say claim it in the name of Jesus it has been released 
God says right now in the atmosphere there is an anointing of remembrance an anointing of being mentioned in the presence of kings in the presence of those who can change your life forever in the presence of those who can set free whatever it is that you need to make I- I'm saying once your name is mentioned once your name is heard that is where the change will start now i know you've been waiting for a long time and you have not known where shall my help come from but god was saying to me woman of god i need you to share this with my children let them know that i have not forgotten it may have been two years like joseph for others it may have been over a decade some of you can't even remember this person that you helped but i am saying there is a rem- ah, yeah, 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 yeah. april is the month of inheritance so it might not even be you that helped them maybe it's your mother who saved someone a few years back maybe it's your relation that did something that now you are about to reap the rewards of that action because there is about to be a remembrance a remembrance that is going to catapult you that is going to take you out of that prison it's gonna be like a hand came in and lifted you up it's gonna be a suddenly one night you are in prison the next you are before the king now listen 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 tap into this in the mighty name of jesus your life will never be the same after this your life will never be the same after this there is an anointing of remembrance there is an anointing of remembrance come on join with me prayer remember me oh lord remember us our names are being mentioned in the presence of kings in the presence of kings rekete yende rebeshi akati yende rebeshi akati rekete yende rebeshi akati yende rebeshi aka rebekete te rebeshi aka ekeri yende reboshi akati yende rebeshi aka rabakata ka yende rebeshi ekeri yende rebaka ekeri yende reboshi akari yanda rekeri yende rebashi akati yanda my situation is changing i am coming out of this prison i will be before the presence of a king i am being restored Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father, for the mentioning of our names. Father, we have waited, we have waited, we have waited. And sometimes it felt like we are waiting for nothing. Sometimes it felt like maybe I'm going to die where I am. It started feeling like maybe, 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 just maybe nobody's going to come and save me. Maybe this is how my story ends. But the devil is a liar. We are coming out of this because right now, Rebesha there is a remembrance happening our phones are going to ring with good news our emails are going to receive approvals they are starting to look for us because somebody has remembered us they have remembered us 
Erebe kete terebe shiaka. Rike riende rebo koriende re re rebo shieke tiende re re. Rike tere yende rebe shiaka tata. The king is looking for us. Rebe shiaka tata tapuria tete. Rike tiende rebe tia. Our solution is looking for us. Our door to freedom is looking for us. Our breakthrough is looking for us. Our healing is looking for us. Our solu araba kata yende rebe shiaka tata. They are looking for us. Our promises are looking for us. Our money is looking for us. Our blessings. Our children. The king is looking for us because our name has been mentioned in the spirit. There is a deposit taking place right now. There is a deposit happening right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Our name has been heard. We thank you, Lord, that the King has located us. We thank you, Lord, that tonight is our last night in prison. We thank you that we are appearing before the King. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Listen, I don't know where you are. I don't know where you are listening from. But I am promising you now. I am telling you now. In the spirit, I see it. Indeed, the spirit of remembrance has spoken on our behalf. We have been mentioned before kings and queens. We have been mentioned ah, yeah, 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 yeah. in rooms that we have not even entered into, on platforms that we know nothing about. Opportunities are going to start flooding. Interviews are going to be coming. Job opportunities. Listen, listen, listen. Sponsorships are coming. Answers are chasing you because the king has heard your name and he is looking for you. It's the last night that you are in prison. It's the last night that you are in prison. Prepare to stand before the king in Jesus' name. Be blessed.